to another video, another weekend vlog. Today is Saturday for me. Thought I'd bring you guys along this weekend. It's like actually afternoon already. I think we're gonna run out. We have a few errands we need to run. I'm gonna be doing a project next week, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> and I wanna go get a few things for that, just pick them up so I can start on it, hopefully like on Monday. And tomorrow we're gonna be busy and gone all day, so I wanna go out today and grab a few things. I also need to get some chicken i was looking in my last vlog i was looking for chicken everywhere the chicken i like they didn't have it so i'm hopefully i can find some today because i want to grill some chicken for dinner that would be just sounds really good and also i'm gonna try and get in this video do like a pool maintenance sort of like pool maintenance thing um i've had in the past people ask me and i've recently had people ask me like how do we keep the pool clean and it's not I don't do it at all. Marion 100% does it. And so I thought that I would try to get some footage and just like show you what we do just to, you know, somebody recently asked and they said they were thinking about getting a pool and they wanted to know like the commitment. So I'm going to try and film that in this video. Anyway, if you're interested in like a pool maintenance video, then this one will be that. Also tomorrow we're going out to um, some friend's house and we're going to go like swimming in the creek and we're going to grill and play games and stuff. So uh, I'll vlog a little bit tomorrow too, but today I need to go out and get a few things and then get home. I have a ton of laundry because last Saturday we actually went on our little vacation to King's Dominion. I haven't done any, I did one load of laundry when we got back like all the wet stuff. I haven't done any of the laundry all week long so I gotta do laundry I need to do some cleaning you know you know all the things so uh what time is it right now it is two almost it's 1 40 and I have not eaten anything so I need to get something to eat and then we're gonna run out run a few errands I've been like all morning dealing with my computer and my um trying to transfer videos from my phone from our trip last week because I vlogged on my phone Oh my gosh, such a headache. Took me hours. Marion actually went and bought a new laptop for me today because he says I need a new one or I'm gonna need a new one. And so yeah, I it's always such a pain to have to like transfer everything to a new computer. So far my computer's fine, but he says this was a really good deal and he wanted to get it while he could and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's what I've been doing all morning. So now I've got a lot to do. It's almost two o'clock. I wanna get this day started. It is really cloudy i don't think we're at, supposed to have any storms i'm crossing my fingers because i got stuff i want to do outside so first stop is sam's club hopefully we can get some steaks for a cookout tomorrow 98 a pound Ooh. all right we got 10 steaks holy moly look at these cinnamon rolls <laughs> These are our favorite colossal cookies. Mmm. had to get his churro twist. Are these like Taco Bell? Do they taste like Taco Bell? Three ninety-eight at Sam's. He loves anything with the churro on it. All right, gonna stop at Hobby Lobby. Like I said, I'm doing a a little makeover so I'm gonna look at their fabric here and if they don't have exactly what I'm wanting I'll look at Joanne fabrics but hopefully they will have what I need here fall has come to Hobby Lobby for sure I love summer not ready for fall but it is pretty so I want this but it's too thin that is too thin yeah those are too small Ooh, that is so pretty. This one's pretty too. I like that. All right, we're at TJ Maxx. I'm looking for some baskets or some, those are kind of nice. Some, they always have good selection and good prices. I love the wire ones. All right, gotta find a paint color all right we're home from our little outing we got I got all the things I needed for my project so my next video is gonna have this this project in it it, it might take me a couple days but I'm gonna put it into one vlog something I've been needing to do and I'm excited to get that done so I thought I'd do a little tiny haul I showed you uh, we got these churro twists Mary really loves them they're like Taco Bell 
um, what are they called there? Cinnamon twists. So for tomorrow, I said we're going to our friend's house. Um, and oh goodness, I um, am bringing all the steaks for everybody. I don't eat steaks. I got chicken, but I got 10 steaks, which I showed you from Sam's. They were like five dollars steak, so I'm probably gonna. I need to go back and get more because Jackson's really loving steaks lately. But um, for tomorrow, I also picked up one of these big things of baked beans because these are my favorite, and then I got green beans because it seems like that's everybody else's favorite. And then I got some chicken because I'm for tonight, but then also I'm gonna bring it tomorrow because this is what I will eat instead of steak. But I was talking in my last video about my favorite chicken, like I couldn't find anywhere. These are what I love. It's the Purdue chicken breast cutlets i don't know why but they're like the best chicken i have found they don't have any they don't have like anything in them it's just white meat chicken so lean i love it it's good quality i don't know that's so good but i got four of those because i was able to find them and i was afraid you know i couldn't find them all ago or last time when i grocery shopped but i'm also gonna make my um sure whoa I'm also going to make the churros cookies that I found at Lowe's for $1.50. I'm going to make probably two or two or three dozen. We will have 12 people, so I don't know. But I'll make some of those tonight for Marion, and he loves them. And then um, I'll make some for tomorrow. I also am going to be making some potato salad, which I've already showed you how to do that. For dinner tonight, we're going to barbecue chicken, potato salad, baked beans, green beans for him. Um... And it is 4.43. Marion is actually going right now to get in the pool. So he said he's going to vacuum it out first. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of his pool routine like I was telling you. Okay, so our pool is a, is an 18 by 48, 18 feet across by 48 inches high. Not 48 inches high. Four feet? Yeah. I think it's 48 inches high. But these are the pool filters we use. These are the type AC. We get these at Walmart, but you can get them. We've also bought them on Amazon. They are roughly $10 per filter. So Marion, how often do you clean a filter out? Um, they're good for two weeks and I usually clean okay. it out like one week and then the rest Okay, of the so you would need to replace one of these every two weeks. And they get real green, and, or not green, but they get real dirty and you have to clean them out. So. Um, yeah, he said he cleans it one week and then replaces it the next. So that's probably like the most expensive. Then this is the pool shock. Uh, the shock, yes. So we sh this for our size pool. Do you still use a half? No, I use a a whole bag. Yeah. So what do you do that once a week? Once uh, every. Act so that's just to make the water clear. Okay. So, so when it starts to get cloudy, that's when I do it. So I don't have to use one of those on a regular basis. Okay. I've only used one this season. Oh, okay. So, and we used to buy these at the local pool store. We don't ever buy it from like Walmart or Target. We've done that before and, and it just does not it's work not. the same. Yeah. You got to get the good quality stuff, but they're not that expensive. I think these size bags were like $7 at the pool store. They may be a little more, but you know, it lasts a long time. So he ordered these from, is it Pool Life website? Uh, no, it's just... Just a website. I'll try to see if we can link it. And then he uses this algicide. Every now and then, if you start to get algae in your pool, you got to quick catch it fast because it will overtake your whole pool. So um, we don't use it that often. He usually stays on top of it. But you do have to keep the shock, and then we keep the chlorine, um, the chlorine tablets in your little floater. Mm -hmm. So these all came from this website. That, But those are the only things we really put in our pool. We used to put, like, the pH up and pH down and all that, and it just never ever was clear it, it was always when we would test the water it always said it needed stuff and we just didn't know what we were doing but then when we started buying the good quality shock and the good quality tablets it made all the difference that's all we need and it lasts us all summer and we don't have to use this very often if we have like a ton of rain sometimes we might start to see just a tiny bit of algae and you got to get it quick or else you're going to end up having to replace all the water in your pool but we never have to empty our pool or anything it we we just fill it up once and in our town, it's like around $20 to fill it, and then we just, you know, these are the only chemicals we use. So Marion said that there is also, these are just the three inch chlorine tablets, but they also make one that has algicide in it that he says he'll probably buy that next time. And you just have to keep keep a chlorine tab in your floater all the time. Um, you know, it has to have that constant chlorine in the pool. So this is the vacuum that Marion uses. We got this at the pool store. And it's just a small handheld vacuum, and he vacuums the pool out pretty frequently. 
you just have to stay on top of it. It's definitely something that if you don't do it after a couple days, you'll have a bigger mess. So you just have to stay on top of it, change your filter, keep your chlorine tab, vacuum it, uh, skim the top. I'll take you outside. Marion's about to go vacuum it now and I'll show you, you know, what that involves. This is the filter he's had on it for the last two years, you said? Yeah. And then he just got this new one. So that's what it looks like after two years. So this is the kind of pool we have. Poly Group Summer Waves Elite. Like I said, I think it's 48 inches by 18 feet. And this is our filter or our pump. That's what it looks like. It's got a bunch of leaves in it. We've got to get those out. But we do run the filter 12, about 12 hours a day. We usually run it at night. Marion shocks the pool at night and then runs the filter all night. So the reason that you shock your pool at night is because if you do it during the day, the sun will evaporate all the shock and it'll be worthless. So um, whenever he does shock it, he cleans it and, and shocks it at night, runs the filter all night long and lets it, you know, mix in. But you have to run your filter like 12 hours a day. That's what we've always done. So half, you know, it's on all night and then we turn it off in the morning. And as you can see, the water is very clear, very clean. We've had this up since May, sometime in May and we usually empty it like September. So this is the pole. Did you did this come with it or did you buy that? Yeah, it, I had to buy this separately. Like a, so you can, yeah. you know, vacuum out your pool. So we also have all these trees right here. So lots of stuff is constantly falling. You can, it came with a cover. I think we threw it away, <laughs> but you can put a cover over. We'll keep leaves and stuff out, but, but it's not too bad. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? You want to play? <laughs> I know. You're so crazy. So this is the floater we have and we just keep, a, you know, whenever your chlorine tablet starts to get small, just put another one in. Always keep that in and we, Marion will trap it behind the ladder sometimes when he's got the filter going so that it doesn't get stuck in the filter and then you know just makes it harder for the water to get in he, he cleans his pool often it's definitely a, a lot of work to keep it clean and i wouldn't say it's too expensive you know just the shock and the chlorine and i think marion kind of finds it therapeutic and he definitely loves enjoys swimming in it so it helps his back he does have this big broom that is just for the pool and he said only if like there's algae and he needs to scrub it he'll use that but it's rare that we get any algae because like I said, if we get like a ton of rain sometimes, it'll happen, but for the most part, we don't have to deal with algae. So anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done, but I wanted to show you my plants that I planted the seeds. I'm waiting for flowers still. I have no flowers, but look at this. Look how big they are. All these came from the seeds I planted, and they were just all different, like a wildflower mix, so I don't know what they are or what's going to grow, but they are pretty. And that side's way, I think that, that side gets a lot more sun, so you can see this side is not the same. There's a few, and there's definitely some weeds I need to pull up. But a bunch of different stuff came up. It'd be really pretty if I had some flowers come up. Marion also bought this little tiny net from the fish department, <laughs> from the fish store. And he uses it to like scoop stuff out of this little tiny basket. But I'm going to go ahead and pull these leaves out of here. Of course, you also got to get you a skimmer. You need a good skimmer. We've had these break so often because when our kids were younger, they would always get broken. But you got to have a good one of those. And this one has an extendable pull. So, because you're going to want to do that pretty much every day. You got to get out the leaves and stuff that are floating on top. So the filter is running right now, but I think he just forgot to turn it off. <laughs> so he has this little piece of wood. He, he just doesn't like to leave this on the grass in case it was like a fire hazard or something. So he just put that little 
piece of wood there and it sits on top of it. That's all the stuff you got up? Yeah. Wow. So it's been four days since he vacuumed it and that's what he got out. So that's what it looks like. It is ready for swimming. So we are not professionals by any means. So, you know, take everything we said with a grain of salt. I'm just telling you from our experience, I think this is like the sixth or seventh summer that we've had a little pool. And we definitely, it was trial and error. We had to learn how to take care of it. And um, we bought a lot of stuff to put in our pool at first that we did not need. So, like I said, if you're a professional, you know, we're not. <laughs> so, but I thought that I'd share that because I do get questions about how much you know it costs to maintain a pool and you know what all it involves so once you like buy the ooh, the lighting it's hard to adjust once you buy your vacuum your pool you know those are like your big investments and then we we usually have our pools for three to four years i think before we have to replace them then marion also will check it each year when we set it up for any holes and then you can patch them and we always use a tarp on the ground underneath to keep it from like getting holes and stuff in it so yeah that is that is it if you are interested in that so i got my potatoes going for potato salad i'm the only one that will eat it so i only made a little bit but i do love homemade potato salad i'm gonna go ahead and throw some laundry in because i have about seven loads and marion and jackson are out there enjoying the nice clean swimming pool so after i throw this laundry in i'm gonna go out and get the grill ready clean it out and everything so i can make the chicken Let those potatoes cool a little bit before I mix them and I'm gonna go clean out the grill. So hot. Silent Marco Polo, okay. <laughs> not here to it looks refreshing. That food was so good, so good. I had um, baked beans, but nobody else like nobody else likes baked beans or potato salad. So these are my leftovers. I'm gonna have these for lunch one day next week probably. So that's nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up real quick. And a little bit of other stuff. I'm gonna like vacuum, finish out some laundry, and I'm gonna make some cookies because I need to take them with us tomorrow. And also, I told Marion I would make them for dessert tonight. Someone
But Chloe is resting peacefully on my recliner, so I'm not going to wake her up. And you know how the dogs get, so <laughs> I'm going to wait to vacuum this in a little while. And I got my first batch of cookies in the oven, and these just came. UPS just uh, delivered these. These are the hooks that I have in my pantry. We bought one because um, that was all they had, but then Marion ordered the other two. So hopefully you can get these hung up on the wall. They're like these four, I think. I think I told him I wanted four, but maybe I just said three. But they're gonna go right here behind this door and I can hang my aprons up back here. First batch of cookies is out of the oven. See how big these are? So I only do eight per pan because they're gigantic. <laughs> Did 
this would be he's gonna hang my my hooks now huh this would be where so like if i put the hole here then that's where the screw will be yeah okay and then the hooks will be underneath right yeah holy moly these cookies are so good one of them broke so i had to eat it but they're like buttery almost they're better than just cinnamon sugar so i've already got a lot packed up for tomorrow i think we're gonna have 12 maybe 14 maybe 16 people <laughs> after all so it's gonna be a lot i need to get another one i have another hook so i need to start collecting them i think i might put the dog like not their leashes are here but we have like the harnesses i might put the leashes and harnesses over here you hear the locusts? <laughs> Just the sounds of summer. I love it. I gotta soak it in while I can. left the river and it was really high and really like mucky murky because they've had a lot of rain so we didn't get to you know swim swim like we did last time but it was still fun but it's cooled off so much we came back to the house now we're gonna grill some dinner but I'm gonna go show you their beautiful horses it's something I love about the country they have a beautiful piece of piece of property
All right, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with me this weekend. I hope that you enjoyed this. Kind of a little bit of everything this weekend. They're inside playing Joker. It's kind of like Sorry. It's like a board game. We learned they taught us when we went to the beach in May. And my family loves it. So everybody's like made their own boards now. And they love playing it. So it's like a Joker tournament for those that wanted to play. But... I'm going to end the vlog. As soon as they're done, we're going to head home. But thanks for hanging out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, you know I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.